a great start from pole position by Valentino. He just won the Italian one did. And Lazy Spider got away pretty well too. Look at Palisbarg on the inside. But it's Martin that leads the way from Palisbarg on the Suzuki Marquez in third. Lorenzo really aggressive up to fifth place already. But Rossi got the start he wanted. What a start by Valentino Rossi from pole position. Round two and three and four coming up towards the Strickland corner. Qualifying and practice has been the problem. He can run the pace. And Marquez up into second place. Keep an eye on Jorge Lorenzo. He's got a great jump from the third row of the grid. The number 99 already up into fifth place. It's Rossi that leads from Mark Marquez. Palace Margo at the inside of his older brother Ace. And Ace having none of that at all. Palace Margo that does move up into third place. It's Jorge Lorenzo right beyond it. And Ace is Margo. The cement, there's another place he's put there to fit. Oh, Lorenzo is absolutely charging. He's always aggressive on that first lap. But it's usually to get to the front. He can't get to the front this time around. Down towards the far end of the circuit. Down towards Van der Beek. He's crossing the just hanging in there. But Lorenzo is making progress every single metre of this track. Lorenzo already on to third place in this race. Rossi leads the way from Marquez. Lorenzo up from eighth place on the grid in two third. The big loser on this opening lap, Danny Pedrosa. He started in fourth place. He's all the way back down in twelfth position. No sign of that road. The big are in the top six. Here's Rossi now to complete the first lap. The great stands go absolutely crazy. Rossi leads the way from Marquez. Lorenzo and Palace Bargaro. Up towards the half up corner of the third round. There is Rossi. The gap between him and Marquez, four tenths of a second, then Lorenzo. Through this difficult series of right-handers, we have a full two corners. Jack Chapman is right, and Jack Chapman at one of the Avicii Ducatis. That's down at the uh, final chicane, back at the front. Somebody has finally broken all hey, Lorenzo's run of 103 consecutive laps in the league. And it's his teammate, Valentino Rossi. Rossi got the dream start of the line. just what he wanted. He got the whole shot into the first corner. There's Mark Marquez in second place. Lorenzo is in third. Great opening lap by the uh, number 99. It was uh, Jack Miller and uh, Nicky Hayden actually coming from the graphical set. The, uh, I think it was actually up to Barbara. I'm not sure Nicky Hayden was involved, but Nicky Hayden actually is in 22nd place in this race. Miller on his feet. That's a flash out there. But it's okay. It's still Rossi from Marquez from Lorenzo. Yeah, Rossi chasing his ninth. One point lead, but significantly Lorenzo made a great start. Rossi where he wants to be, not with the other front, but right in with the front people, because he's had to fight through the field on so, so many maps. This time it's a very different story. Mighty impressive from Lorenzo there, from that third the end of the into the team of Chicane, followed by Paul and Sparrow. It's going to be a pretty tight game for them across the line. 24 laps to go here in Athens. First is the map that will be set by Jorge Lorenzo on 133, 510. And there you know the up the inside of Bias Margro on the brakes into the first corner. You know the now up inside the top four. Another great ride by the Nicati Ryan right, still Rossi that leads the way. Rossi, can he deliver a Jorge Lorenzo star performance? Get out to the front early, then control the race. There's that back and forth form. Is he known from the Aspargaro brothers? That will be somewhere come from a great sight in Grand Prix racing. Flat out through the right before they have the come to the rescue line. But they go right, left and right. And Rossi still leads the way. This is the crash I would imagine of Jack Miller. Big uh, roll through the ground there for Jack Miller. Uh, he'll definitely be shaking up by that one. There is a minute to mark on the air. He's holding that to the right, left, pretty gingerly. Yeah, it's just a twisty man right hand for those minutes. He's got some movement. Here we are back at the front. Rossi leads the way. Just under half a second to the left. Rossi controlling that gap at the moment. Still no sign of Dan Pedrosa. So as we said, it was an awful double opening lap for this lap. Big flash in the wall this morning. That looks a really dangerous conference between Pedrosa and Tom Stephen. We're on the grid in four. He's down at 12. And still can't get his way through by the likes of Patrick Vignales and Danilo Petrucci. Rossi at the front, the line getting a red on the front, doesn't he? I mean, OK, Lorenzo just laughing slightly fast. Watch the gap now, it's nearly half a second. Lorenzo a further four tenths down. You know what he, a legend's partner, a pompous 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 partner, a pomp
Big race for him, couple of weeks time, the German Grand Prix at the Saxon Ring. Life is a game, closes up, he hasn't made a move yet. He's been a little bit more cautious probably than in previous years or previous races because of what has happened in the last two races. We ride with the world champion as the rider that won the race here last year. Two front of it, Valentino Rossi did it. Two front of it, Valentino Rossi did it. Two front of it, Valentino Rossi did it. But of edge grip. So on the one hand, Rossi, you know, he has to make sure that he doesn't use up that stock too much, just trying to fend up Marcus. That idea might affect him towards the end of the race. I mean, Marcus is going to have to be a little bit more careful in the uh, in the entire corners. Beautiful defensive ride right there by Rossi. He did give Marcus a chance to get up the inside coming into the big gap. Here's Rossi down to the first corner start on lap number eight. Look at Jorge Lorenzo. Really struggling to go with Marquez and Rossi. The gap now between Rossi and Lorenzo up to 1.5 seconds. Lorenzo was only a tenth of a second slower on that previous lap. But this is a brilliant fight. A full fifth place between Alex Espargo and Juan Smith. And the Rossi is also Dutch Slow Smith. Daniel Petrucci hanging away in there. So the only one that has uh, has got to the medical centre for a uh, for a check on is Hector Barber with uh, as we saw from the shots with some rest of the leg play. I think you guys have to Many thanks, Dylan Davizio so he's desperate to get past that Thomas Barber. But not able to do so at the moment. Right behind just waiting for the moment. It's Gap Cross though, and then it puts the whole in front of the Ducati as they come through the UK. So Crossler now will move up into seventh place. Davizio turns fifth, Petrucci, Pedroza, Vignales. 18 laps to go, Jorge Lorenzo lost another four tenths of a second on the lead two. Valentino Rossi now through turn number four. He'll flick it right to the slowest corner on the track. The Struby, you can just see Jorge Lorenzo there. He's got that shot now. There is Lorenzo coming through turn number five. He's now 1.9 seconds back on Rossi. Doesn't look like at this stage there will be a famous five for Lorenzo. Rossi tried to back three wins this season. And he can have a cruise lap advantage in the World Champions of Intense pressure for Mark Marquez. Now this is as close as we've seen Marquez for the entire race. Diamond in the ball for the left hand and coming up absolutely right. That is as close as we've seen. Will he try to make a move at the chicane? Down through the ball, pop up at the end of the circuit. Man the better group is coming up. Rossi coming under pressure. Marquez, you know he's going to make a move. It's not being pushed from behind. He can make he can wait his moment. Rossi here knows we're going back in him straight away. This could be the moment. Oh, I don't know. Rossi just got a slight deal of advantage as they come up towards the Ruskinon and down towards the Chicane. Probably got a bit just a little bit closer. We're about to find out. It's not close enough. That fast to run through. Moving me up over high the ramp shot is where Valentino Rossi is really, really strong. Just didn't say with that medium option for the time. But a little bit more breaks for my market. They 